Warm greetings from the high 10. It is Everyday Shenanigans on this Saturday, September 19, 2020. Okay, you guys, I want to bring you an update pertaining to Antonio Brown. I have not discussed Mr. Brown because, you know, it's always some shenanigans going on with him. But I thought I'd bring you guys this update. Um, This is by The Yard Barker. Antonio Brown ordered to turn over text messages in civil suit. A Florida judge has ordered Antonio Brown to turn over text messages and other evidence pertaining to a woman who has accused him of rape and sexual assault in a civil suit. Twitter link via Tom Pelissero of NFL.com. At the same time, the judge refused to mandate a psychiatric evaluation for Brown. Now imagine that. Now does the judge think that he's competent to stand trial? Yes, he does. Amen. The free agent wide receiver has seven games to go on his eight-game ban from the NFL. That suspension stems from two separate and unrelated incidents, and the league has indicated that Brown could face additional discipline for any new evidence that may emerge. It's not given that Brown will get an opportunity to return to the field upon reinstatement. Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson and Seahawks star Russell Wilson both lobbied for Brown this summer, but both clubs ultimately decided to pass on him. For what it's worth, Ravens head coach John Harbaugh told reporters in July that he's willing to look at any and every player and that Brown is no exception. Over the course of his 10-year career, Brown tallied 841 receptions for 11,253 yards and seven Pro Bowl appearances. Not long ago, Brown was regarded as a surefire Hall of Famer and one of the game's most dangerous offensive talents. At this point, no one would be surprised if the 32-year-old never plays again. The source for this story is Yard Barker. If you notice... This story here, this article here, is mirroring a year ago, around the 19th of last year, September, when the sexual allegation assault came out from the young lady who said that he sexually assaulted her, sent her intimidating text messages. And don't you find it odd, a year later, damn near to the date, a judge is saying he don't need no... <laughs> psychiatric evaluation ain't nothing wrong with him uh homeboy fork over those text messages and any other incriminating evidence so they're going forward with this uh suit the civil suit against him this young lady and i just think it's interesting a year later damn near to the date as i state and no psychiatric evaluation obviously the judge thinks he's competent and see this is what people don't understand about Social media, you run your mouth, your Twitter, your Snapchat, you go on Facebook, your Instagram pages, you rant, you rave, you go off. You don't ever think those things can be used against you. And I'm sure that's what the judge is saying. Hey, he seems competent to me. He talks a lot. And it's evident he's very cocky, arrogant, a narcissist, a sociopath. Those are my opinions of Mr. Antonio Brown. He has a problem with his mouth, his tongue, his temperament, the reason why he's gone from team to team, having altercations with his coaches, uh, sexual assaults, two current so sexual assaults from two different women, issues with his baby mother. She's alleging assault at the top of the year. Then there was the issue with the driver from California bringing said goods to his home in Florida. They had an altercation about the payment arrangement. You see... It's always something. And this is why I say there's so many people out here just like Antonio Brown. They are not football players, but they are regular civilians. They have an attitude problem, and they're always in altercations with people, be it physical, verbal. And as you see, he tends to keep getting in one scenario after the other. There's no way anyone can continue to defend him and say, oh, he's a great guy, but he's a nice guy, but, well, he's a nice guy to you. But he ain't punched you in your mouth yet, and he hasn't sexually assaulted you yet. Do you understand what I'm saying? People have got to stop vouching for people that they know are foul and vile. And we as people have a bad habit of that. We uphold people when we know they are foul, their demeanor is foul, and we cry and moan and say, Oh, that's my brother, my sister, my cousin, my school teacher, my this. But they don't have anything to do with it. If they're foul, they're foul. Are we all flawed? Yes, but these things with Antonio Brown, they're getting old and they're redundant, and he needs help. He needs help, and he's showing a pattern that he is verbally and physically abusive and obviously sexually abusive as well. I will bring you a set update when I get it if I decide. 
I want to continue talking about this Negro because I'm getting tired of him. He's old to me. He's like a lot of other stories that are out here. He is a person who has been afforded the opportunity to better himself, make money, perfect his craft in sports, but he chooses to be a menace. And that's the life he likes. He obviously likes that. And I agree with this article that I don't see him playing anywhere because time is going to keep going by and by. You got to wait your time out for these uh, games that you can't play in. And then we have this issue of this uh, civil suit and anything negative coming from that suit can be held against him to where he can't play for the NFL. So right now his career is dire, but it it's all on him. He did this to himself. That's how I feel about the situation. Like, share, subscribe, drop your comments below. Thanks for joining me. You guys stay masked up out there. Stay safe. Have a wonderful weekend. It's cool here in the high 10. Nice. Really nice. Thanks for joining me. And this is Everyday Shenanigans. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.